Today's tip is all about how to plug a MIDI keyboard into your laptop or desktop computer. Now, uh, MIDI keyboards are fantastic if you're using music uh, programs like notation programs, uh, such as Sibelius or Finale. Um, it's fantastic to be able to plug in a MIDI keyboard in order to get notes more quickly into that software program. Also great if you're recording into a sequencing program, so something like GarageBand or Mixcraft, or Logic or Pro Tools or any of those programs, it's really useful to be able to plug in a MIDI keyboard so that you can play quickly and easily the parts you want into your project. So plugging in a MIDI keyboard, um, I have a little MIDI keyboard here which is the X key by CME and it's a great portable one because it's quite small, uh, the whole thing looks like that. Um, it's quite small and portable to take around and I use it a lot with my laptop and my iPad as well. So this MIDI keyboard is a USB keyboard which means that the lead that comes out the end of the keyboard here just has a simple USB um, lead on the end. So you can plug that directly into your laptop and easy it works uh, straight away, no problems at all. You can get uh, USB keyboards like this of all sizes. So something um, small and compact like this one, which is easy to carry around in your laptop bag. Uh, you can get really large ones, uh, 49 keys or 61 keys or even bigger, um, which might be something you find in a computer lab at a school or in your sort of home studio. And fantastic and, and nice and easy and straightforward. Now older keyboards may not have a USB lead that comes you know, straight out of the keyboard and goes directly into the computer. So um, you might need another little device to go in between the two. So some of the older keyboards have MIDI in and out cables and you would need one extra thing, a little adapter type thing interface that goes between those leads and is the thing that actually plugs into your computer. So one of the common ones is the uh, UM1 and that one you plug the MIDI cables into one end and out the other end is a USB lead which you'll plug straight into your laptop or desktop computer. So I hope that answers that question. Um, just in terms of when you are turning on those devices that you're going to use, so the, the keyboard, the best success happens if you turn things on in the right order. So your laptop or, or, de or desktop computer can be on then you would plug your keyboard in and make sure the keyboard is switched on. Some keyboards have an on off switch. So make sure the keyboard is on and usually there's a light on the keyboard which will indicate that it's actually on. After you know that the keyboard is turned on and switched, um, plugged in and switched on okay, then you should start up the software that you're going to use. So whether it's Sibelius or Finale or Logic or GarageBand or Mixcraft or any of those programs, turn that on after you know that the keyboard is on. Then the last step within the software program, and it depends what you're using, whether you need to do this or not, um, but the last step is usually to tell the software program to use your keyboard as the input device. So somewhere in the preferences, in the settings of that program, will be the place to select the keyboard as the input device, and it should appear in a menu there. So I hope that helps. Um, best of luck with your MIDI input. Um, I really like it. It's a great quick way to get notes and parts into your software programs.